Hello aspiring tropical freeze runners, this is Michael Goldfish and welcome to my 6-1 any% percent tutorial. This is one of the shortest and most difficult levels in the run, but not to fear, we have strats for everything. And grannies for everything too. So for this first part, you want to do a full jump right after you roll off of the ledge, and then do multiple full pogos. And then a half or three quarter into this barrel. And then you shoot out when this barrel slams into the ice, and then you shoot this barrel when it lines up with the ledge on the far right. The difficulty of the shot isn't too bad. It's about the same difficulty as the 4-5 crate skip. It'll require a little bit of practice, but it's really not too bad. Now for this next part, you damage boost through these spikes, and then right before Cranky and DK are completely out of the spikes, you want to do a full jump and a full pogo. That'll get you across here. Then do another pogo, and then roll into the barrel. Then you roll across here, jump off at the last banana, and then for this section, you want to do a tap jump and then a full pogo without holding grab onto the far, the upper right ledge. Now you want to do that first mini hop after the Archie at the top right shoots his second fish, and there's two reasons for that. The first reason is that it lets you do the full a full pogo to the ledge without worrying about getting hit by the fish. And the second reason is the dick poker just to the right of the Archie will have walked a little bit further forward, which means you can just roll into him instead of bopping him. Then you jump, tap jump on the fire Archie, and grab this. Now you want to jump off of this ledge when it's a bit less than 45 degrees, and then you do two full pogos into the next strat, which I'll explain. So for this section, what you want to do is grab the top of that vine block, let go immediately, and then as soon as DK is underneath the vine block, hold grab again, and then that'll give you enough horizontal speed to land onto the snow right after the ice underneath breaks. But the problem is, if you grab too low, then the ice underneath won't break in time, and it'll just bonk into it and die. So I'll show that off real quick. Like so. Also note that these ice shockwaves can't actually hurt you if you're going. And I'll go over an easier strat for that as well later on. So you do that strat, get into this barrel, you wait until it stops moving, shoot through, roll here. When you're over this little patch of ice, I'm a teeny bit further than I want to be right now, but I'm over that really fat icicle. That's the visual cue for where I am right now. You'll be able to see it once you practice it a few times. Then do a full jump, weave your way through here, full pogo onto these vines. Now you want to ledge hop onto this one like so, so that you land on the very left edge of this platform. And then you'll just want to roll a bunch, um, hope that you don't get hit by the blue hoots, and then jump off and finish the level. Don't get hit, jump, pogo off this enemy, and you're done. Now there have been rare occurrences where you get hit by that blue hoots, but I'm quite sure that if you do that ledge hop onto the platform, you'll never get hit by the blue hoots. So now I'll go over granny strats you can do. This means skipping the damage boost with the spikes, not doing the crunch of vine grab strats, and I guess that's about it actually. So you do this the same way. Oh, if you really want to babby this, you can wait until you hit the guy. Duck under here, hit the penguin, jump to this mini platform, and go. It's also good to note that for the strat where you do damage boost, if you jump too early, you'll end up bopping that penguin. And a good backup is if you're able to react to the penguin bop, you can hold grab and hold left, and you'll be able to land on that mini platform you can see instead of falling into the pit. A 
granny for this is just to hold back and not worry about getting the full speed onto this vine. And then the old strat is just to do that. You grab it and go back. And then that's about it. There isn't too much to granny. So now that that's covered, I'll go over what to do if you lose Cranky, which is very bad, you don't want that to happen. As it makes the ending much more scary than it needs to be. So the first section is the same since it gives you a barrel at the very beginning of the level. But after the first and second checkpoint, things can get a little bit, a little bit not as nice. So let's say I lost Cranky here, oh no, I'm terrible, I died. Or you died in that next section, or anything like that. Just get into the barrel, do four rolls, up. I believe my strat would be to jump onto the fish. And then in front of this guy, land between the fire archie's fire fish and the archie and roll into him. That hit wasn't intentional, but I just messed up my jumps. For this section, do the same timing as you would do with Cranky, and then just pull back and hit this guy. There's a safety heart here, which is cool. And then if you get up, you can do the cool crunch of vine strats, where you land on the snow as solo DK. But if you got to here without dying, I wouldn't recommend it because there's a very good chance that that ice shock wave will be at the very edge when you land there and you'll get hit anyway. So you'll, what, what you'll want to do with solo DK is just do this old granny strat. And then move on. But if you die, after this checkpoint, pop your balloon right away and then go for the crunch of strat. And it all works out. For this section, just do a short jump and a full jump. Grab the vines. And now for this part, you want to go a bit higher and full jump. So you don't want to do the light hop anymore. You want to go a bit higher and then hold jump to get more speed onto this ledge. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold grab, hold right, and then when you're at the very edge of the platform, you're going to do a roll jump, and hopefully you won't hit the blue hoots. And you'll be able to jump to the end. Do a neutral buff off the chuck guy, and then roll into the finish. So as you can see, if you're consistent with the ending and know what you're doing, it's not too bad if you lose Cranky, but it's still time loss and it's still very, very scary. So now I'll just show off the level with all the strats together, without a bunch of awkward pausing. Oh no, that wasn't good. Now the problem with that, what happened is I jumped up too early, which is why you want to wait. It's okay, I can just go through this as solo DK. At least I've done this part properly. So since I got hit, I'm going to do the baddie strat for this. 
which admittedly I'm not very good at. Get the blue hoots jump. And we're good. So that's a good example of a typical run if something goes wrong. I would like to show you one, a full run where nothing goes wrong. So I'm going to go into time trial for that just to make sure that I can show it quickly. That way if I mess something up again, I can just quickly restart it without wasting too much of your time. And there you have it. That's the 6-1 any percent route. I hope this helped, and I'll see you in the next video.